conscious. Hello, welcome back again um, to Axis Replay, where we are playing Dungeons and Dragons. I am Josh. I am DMing this one. Uh, Stefan is playing with us today. Sherry, across from him. Um, Jesus. And, well, Nella's seat is unfortunately conspicuously empty at this point in time. He will be joining us at some point, however. Hopefully soon, or rather than late. Tur. Her. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, last session was uh, an interesting one. Um, the, the collection of adventurers who happened to be traveling in the same direction mm -hmm. <laughs> made their way out to a... Uh, to uh, a farm on the, what's that? I'm trying to figure out the acronym for that, don't mind. I don't know, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. So they, uh, they were assigned uh, slash, yeah, they were told that there were orc raiding issues at some of the farms on the uh, outlying areas on the riverside. Objective adventurers come apart. Wow. Well. And so much effort goes into this. And um, made their way out to the farm mm -hmm. um, where they happened to intercept uh, what appeared to be an orc raiding party. It appeared to be as such. It appeared to be as such. Um, after a, or at the end of a scuffle or a battle with the first party, one of the one of the orcs let loose a blast on what could uh, what could only be described as a signal horn and uh, yeah. and uh, the uh, uh, the group uh, made their way up and down the river and found where there was actually a second boat that had landed and they were once again engaged in combat where they triumphed, albeit by the skin of their teeth. Uh, once combat was ended, um, maniacal cackling and strange blood rituals ensued. The group loaded up their wagon and made their way away from the scene post-haste, with Swinford, unconscious in the back of the wagon, Gorm, the strong one, uh, expertly guiding said wagon, and Rena and Ren uh, riding along, managing Swinford's condition. And that is where we will pick up this time. Uh, Rena in the back of the wagon, Swinford unconscious in the back of the wagon, Gorm driving, and Ren himself having seemingly passed out from exhaustion after being knocked unconscious uh, during the uh, during the melee. Uh, so, you had loaded up the wagon and you were presumably heading back towards the farm? Uh, we were heading back towards the town. I was, at least, because I had already let the, the farm people know that we had... Uh, we had taken care of it. Job's yep. done. <laughs> Before we went out and fought some more. Yep. Okay. So, with that, you know what? You know, just just whip the reins a little bit, head back towards the farmhouse. Okay. And uh, let them know that a second raiding party had been taken care of. However, we do know that we had seen a third, and we did not come into contact with them. So, here's the thing. You actually don't know that there was a third, okay, so because... Go. That was seen by, um, oh, that was seen by Violet's familiar. Who's Violet? Violet, the blood the, ritual the performing. Oh, okay. Catholic. I never knew what their name was. The last their name, one their name was Violet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because she was Violet. Mm -hmm. Not my joke. Ha ha. Literally. <laughs> However, in making your way, mm -hmm. um, uh, northward, because you had gone south down the river. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, Rena and Gorm make perception checks. Perception checks. 
perception. That is a 13. Uh, a natural one? Yes. A natural one. Okay. So, um, yeah, you have no idea what's going on. You are completely and solely um, uh, invested in Swinford's well-being uh, after having uh, watched one of your companions die after your attempted medical menstruations prior um, you are thoroughly stressed and invested in that gorm however mm-hmm. uh, in being the uh, being the ever vigilant driver of the wagon mm-hmm. uh, casting a cursory glance out over the river mm-hmm. um, you do see uh, you do see a third boat but this boat is heading back downstream. It is not, and they are far out off of the bank. They are not. Okay. I take the horn, uh-huh. and I go. So you go, you blast the horn. Yep, and just show it to them. Just hold it up. Yep. Okay. Um. At this at this distance, um, they're probably not going to see that because you're. They're out in the middle of the river, and you're a little ways off the shore. Okay, so this is more than like... Yeah, you're not like, like sitting on the shore yet. Oh, okay. You're heading no, I your thought that they were close enough to see me. Right. If that's the case, I don't even do it. Oh, you're not going to blast them? Yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. So you do see that heading downstream. There is another boat. Okay. But there were only three boats that we saw. You only saw... Well, you were... Oh, that we saw. Yeah, you were only aware of the one that landed at the original uh, fight point. Okay, so yeah. there wasn't a boat near where Things could one. have been assumed, I guess. Okay. From the horn blast. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm talking about what I can assume, not what I can metagame. Sure. Okay. You don't know how many... So I know been. of three parties that had landed. Uh, you know of two that have landed, because those are the two that you have fought. Okay. Alright, so I know of two parties that landed, and one that... Even though that they're going down river from the place where other raiding parties have landed. Mm-hmm. At this okay. point, you can assume that that is a third. Yeah, okay. sure. So we know of three parties in total. Now you know of three okay. parties in total. Prior to this, no, you did not. All right, so that's where we're at. That's cool. Let's go back to the farmhouse and let them know. Still heading towards <laughs> the farm. Okay. All right. So uh, you travel. Um, <laughs> Once again, uh, make the uh, make the journey towards the farmhouse from the river's edge. I roll a natural twenty. We're doing that <laughs> for going to the farmhouse. For, for going to the farmhouse. Yes. Oh, roll the 20. I gotcha. You're you're good. You're not gonna you're not gonna be required to make okay. the uh, the handling you check. Remember where it was. So you uh you make your way to the farm, guide the uh, guide the draft horses, uh, and the wagon, and you. Uh, you pull up to the farmhouse. The house itself has lights on still, uh, just as it was when you left it no more than maybe an hour and a half ago uh, to head down uh, into that second melee. Okay. Uh, there's no movement or anything in the house. All right. <clears throat> well, upon stopping outside the house then, I check with Rena. Rena. Uh, on the condition of our comrade. Comrade. Swinford. How goes Swinford? He's doing a lot better. Oh, well, that's good. So many of you flies fall before the fists of mightier enemies that sometimes I worry about the frailty of your constitutions. In any case, you stay here with Swinford. I will head to the. This is an ass accent. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> this is an ass uh, uh, I took acting lessons and I forgot them. I will head to. Uh, God damn it, I don't remember what it was. I know it was like Russian it was sounding. A, it was a weird light Russian for me. Very light Russian. Yeah. And I cannot do it right now without remembering. Anyways. She could be up. Gorm, uh, you know, gives her a reassuring, you know, hand to shoulder and then heads towards the farmhouse and knocks upon the door once more. 
Excellent. Uh, so relatively quickly, um, the uh, the mistress of the house, um, Vi, uh, answers the door, and it's like, what what, uh, what what brings you back here this evening? We have a uh, dispatched of a second party of orcish marauders and witnessed a third leaving upon the river. As it stands, I don't foresee any further raiding parties attacking you on this... It's still night, right? It's still night. At uh, this night. However, we were unable to deal with all that had landed, or all that had come. I would be more... I would be cautious in the future. And further enlist the aid of those who would give it to you. For now, though, our job is done. Well, thank you very much. That's... That's more than uh, than we've been able to get out of anyone from the town itself. So we're, we're absolutely grateful for your uh, for 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 you coming out here and standing up for for us, where the city itself can't really seem to muster the people to handle it. Uh, I wish that I had I wish I had something to offer you. I can maybe get together some food, but that's that's about it. Uh, we don't really have much in the way of in the way of valuables or coins here. Your tokens of gratitude are not need. There it is. There it is. I found it. Yeah. Your tokens of gratitude are not needed. We will head back to town. I am sure we will see each other again should more trouble come upon you. Well, thank you again for your kindness. Stay safe and well, Miss Spy. At that point, she closes the door, and you hear the you hear the bolt slide and. Conversations on the other side, more or less relaying what you just told her. Okay, I will head back to the caravan, and uh, upon relaying this information to my cohort Rena and this one that's on the map, <laughs> we uh, we simply we we don't bother to wait, and we head right back to the city. Okay. And uh, Nella also, I assume, is. We got his legs tied to a rope on the back of the caravan, and we're just dragging him along. Just dragging him along. Fair enough. <laughs> One point of damage. One Fair point enough. Of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Bludgeoning all the way home. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Uh, and so then we go off into the sunset, and then this place. Are they taking the halflings to Isengard? <laughs> <laughs> You're a knockout, so you can't ask that question. I'm thinking that in my dreams. Gorm's not up to date. I'm on dreaming of halflings. <laughs> Canonically, but I'm dreaming But he knows a catchy tune when he hears it. <laughs> Some he is a musician, apparently. I forgot that I wrote that in there. <laughs> you do have several instruments on you. <laughs> I did forget that. Oh, man. Awesome. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, you, um, so you're going through the night heading back towards town. Uh, at this point I will require, uh, so I'll require an animal handling check, so that'll be a d20. And that one. Oh boy. Okay. I will also require a check, uh, a, uh, a d100, please. And is this going to be... Uh, this is effectively an encounter check. All right. So whomever wishes to make that is fine. Let someone else do something instead of me for once. I'm literally unconscious. Only you share. Okay. Well, you would be a part of any encounter. Seventy-three. Okay. So <clears throat> you begin to make your way towards town and while the horses do pretty much what you want them to do yeah they seem to hit every piece and patch of uneven ground along the way and it's just a constant battering of the wagon and um unfortunately after one particularly hard hit, uh, the uh, the wagon axle 
that had broken. Um, snaps in half again. And you are left stranded. Uh, or rather, your wagon is left stranded. So the axle is broken, not yes, just it the is. wheel? Okay. Ah, unfortunate. Well, I was not particularly attached to this wagon anyways. What say you, Rena? How should we proceed? Should we wait here for the rest of the night? Or should we attempt to go the rest of the way on foot? Since Swinford is unable to make it back, we should probably just set up camp and maybe he'll be able to help us fix the wagon tomorrow. Ah, I see. I was going to say that we could possibly eat him if we were hungry, but that's also a good idea. (laughs) I will set up camp. You continue doing whatever you need to do to prepare for the night. And I go ahead and set up camp. Uh, Since the uh, wagon is a little worse for wear, Mm -hmm. uh, there's no wood wood around, would there be? No. Uh, This is... I'll tear off planks of the uh, of the of the cart to make a fire. Okay. All right. And set up a campsite there for us to take a rest. All right. Uh, give me a survival check, real quick. Me too. Uh, Twelve. No, that's uh, that's all I needed. Um, so you're able to clear out an area in this in this large. Uh, this large grassland, um, wide enough where you don't accidentally start a uh, massive wildfire, um, and you get a fire started, no problem. Um, so things uh, things progress smoothly from there. And uh, what was your uh, what was your intent? Nella's here. Rena. Uh, Yay, Nella's here. Just. There was much. It's awesome. Pain and pictures. Well, he's setting up camp, right? He's like doing mm-hmm. fire. Mm-hmm. Um, was there anything that you wanted to accomplish, or if not, that's fine. Could I like take a look around and make sure that we're absolutely in the safe? Yeah, safe certainly. Area? Make a uh, yeah. too bad I don't have trip. hundreds of dollars to spend on. The flight to maybe sixteen. Sixteen. So you uh, you gaze out across. Uh, the infinite expanse. <laughs> you gaze out across the infinite expanse. The dreamlands of Hoof. And you see, um, you see just uh, just um, uh, leagues of of tall grass um, and moonlit plains. That's about it. Uh, nothing just really catches your eyes. Yeah. And planes and scales. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's really it, though. Okay. Yeah, nothing really catches your attention. There he is. Yeah. All right. So you're able to you're able to set up a camp. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are um, you're unfortunately not very far away from the the farmland, maybe uh, from the farmhouse itself. You got maybe you got maybe two or three miles away from it before the unfortunate event happened. As I finish making up the camp then, uh, before you continue, I will instruct Rena that uh, Gorm is in dire need of some rest after his long uh, conflict. If she could take the first watch, he'll lay down and begin to rest almost immediately. Uh, I guess I have no choice. No, you do not. All right, so uh, as uh, fortunately with the uh, a good thing that comes from the bouncing and bounding and eventual breaking of the wagon is that the recent addition to your traveling group of uh, strangers and individuals, uh, the bard Wren, uh, comes awake suddenly and with a start and... Welcome to the table, Nella. Oh, that's it. What's that? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. 
So you are all, uh, at this point, you're traveling back towards town, back towards Duran from the farmhouse, um, where uh, Gorm the Strong One has informed uh, the farmers that you've fended off a potential raiding party. Um, they, uh, I and, forgot. I read, yeah. Yeah, we got, yeah we got you got doinked. Way. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but she saved me. Yeah, she saved you. And then we made sure he's out there. So he's, he's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember now. Crazy things happen. Yeah, I'm only mostly dead. So, um, at this point, you guys are heading back towards Duran when, unfortunately, uh, at the uh, after a poor animal handling check, uh, the wagon that you had salvaged from the orc slavers, uh, the axle had broken on it, and so you are left stranded on the grassland, uh, on the plains rather, in the dark of night. Uh, at which point, Gorm set up a camp for you. And you have been startled awake suddenly after taking a mighty drubbing from the the orcs and the ogre. My gosh, so are you guys all gonna take a go ahead and, and start a long rest at this point? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> Get the rest that. of you that have a choice in the matter. <laughs> no, I Gorm also takes a rest. Okay. And get drugs, scrub. It's absolutely um, keeping watch is still part of a long rest, so you're able to accomplish that. While still right, well, watch. what about when I did that before? Yeah, I didn't get a. You didn't let me get a long well, rest. Well, you didn't there. complete a long rest. Oh, is yeah, the problem? Yeah, they came in. And I gotta have eight hours contiguous. Sure, sure, sure. Let me rest up. Gorm is most at rest in battle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so cool. So you're taking first watch. Give me another perception check. And... Wait. Who's going to be taking our second watch? Ten. Oh. Huh. I'm in. I have no power here. Damn it. <laughs> Swinford's unconscious. Gorm has, Gorm has checked out. Gorm has established all right. I can take so a Okay. So for your watch, what was your, what was your check? Ten. A ten? Okay. So, just gazing out over the plains, you, you really don't see anything. Um, and, uh, your portion passes relatively uh, uneventfully. Nice. And with that, if you so desire, you can awaken Rin to take his. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Go ahead right. and give me a perception so, check as well. Let's do it here. I love how he doesn't even look. He just throws the I'm dice. Sorry. It's a three. Oh, I didn't see. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I didn't even add none of that. It's just stupid. Yeah. So uh, as uh, so, Reno awakens you to take your watch, and you take your watch, and then you. Uh, I was you, pretty much still asleep. After she dozes off, you 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 doze right back off as well. Yeah. It's uh, it's uh, but luckily for you, it's a uh, an uneventful evening, a very restful. Long rest, so you are all back to full health. Yeah, yeah. Have your your full spell slots available. Yeah, yeah. and uh, all did I level up? Your abilities, you did not what level, level up. You might level at the end of this session. We'll see how things go. Level up on three. That's it. I think look, we ain't leveling any fast this year. I think everyone's three, but sure. I'm three. You're three. Okay. She's three. Yeah. Okay, okay. We need this. Are we dead? No. So you uh, you awaken to uh, you awaken to the the morning light, and um, and uh, everybody's asleep, and the wagon axle still broken. Damn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Gorm gets up, diligently picks up the rest of his equipment off the back of the caravan, loads them onto the satchel upon his back, and. Uh, Entreats the rest of his partners. I will begin my trek back to the city. You are welcome to come with me if you would like. I don't need no damn animals. Good morning. Oh yes, the horses. We should let them go. It's up to you though. I don't know. I they don't even have names. What happened to my wagon? I destroyed. <sighs> Dude, I destroyed. <laughs> Unfortunate, but we move on. That's, that's sad. Okay. I, I, being thankful that I'm alive, I'll just 
and look at the chaos and just <laughs> yeah. grab your crap. Grab all my crap. I'm gonna run over the horses and see if I, it's possible to you run over them. Oh, okay. Run over them <laughs> and see if it's possible to what? To take them back, either like riding like, them back. I think we could just do a medicine check them off. Sure, you can absolutely try that. Uh, if you'd like to, okay. if you'd like to I'm gonna try to ride try, one. Home. You're gonna try to ride one. Okay, give me an animal handling check. Oh, no. The same one. The same He's person want to ride one home. The reason we can't get home. Okay, yeah, do it. No, do you? Oh, do you That's want me you. to do that one? It's a nine. It's fine. Okay, so you take the uh, you take the reins and the and the and the bit out and um, uh, the the harness and all, and. Um, this horse is not amenable to being ridden at all. Yeah. You like no? Nope. Uh, you try to uh, you try to ride it, and you know it's there's no saddle. It, it would be a bareback situation, and and he's just not into it. Okay. Goodbye horses. Goodbye. Horses. I'll get catch up. With, I'll just catch okay. up with everyone else. Then. Okay. So as uh, so, he seems to be thoroughly, uh, thoroughly grateful at the fact that he has been unharnessed and begins to crop at the, at the grass on the plane. So there you go, nicely done. And with that, anything you wish to do, Man, you I'm guys gonna? I just got my stuff. I'm going. Packing up and heading towards Duran. Yeah. So you know from experience that by wagon it's a couple hours faster, but on foot you've got about a half day's walk. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I got nothing to do in the meantime, so I'm just trudging along with everybody else. Yeah. You do. To trudge. Try. Yeah. Yeah, We're all trudging. Try to do my trudge. <laughs> I have trudged. Trudge. Okay, cool. So you guys, uh, you, you walk towards town, and it is a relatively uneventful trek. Um, Nothing major happens other than the actual walk itself. Appreciate and you approach town from the same way that you exited. And voila, you are back in Duran. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, boo, civilization. <laughs> this offends my barbarian senses. <laughs> boo. We should be held back to the uh, mayor's house now, now that quest one is complete. True. I believe mm. we have some rewards waiting for us, actually. Mm. Unaffirmative grunts. <laughs> Unaffirmative? Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm going to head to the blacksmith real quick. Okay. I just kind of walk off. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm in back to the mayor. Okay. I, I acknowledge him and just. Yeah. Mayor. I'm running back to the mayor, too. I'm just going to go <laughs> very quickly and see if the blacksmith wants to buy my old great axe and take a look at this uh, mall that I got from the, uh, the captain. Yep. And I didn't take the giant tree thing that I got hit with, but I should have. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it was literally a tree. just like a tree line. Yeah, but I wanted yeah. to keep it as a trophy. Could have put it in the wagon. Cool. Yeah, you could have put it in the wagon. Ren is doing what? Oh, yeah, I'm going with him to the mayor. To the mayor? Yeah, once all that's done, I All right, the three of you are heading to the mayor. Yep, yep. So we'll address the blacksmith situation first. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh, you are heading into the blacksmith. Um present the axe to him mm-hmm. um, and he looks the no this is the this is the, this one, is the old you, one the one that you had originally or the mm-hmm. one that you the took one that I had before? originally okay your base your base axe yes okay yeah I mean he, he glances it over he's he's not super impressed I mean it's obviously worn it's taken some some dings and some and some dents there might be a, a little chip in the blade but mm-hmm. um but uh, he says, yeah, I, you know, I can make better. Um, I have no doubt. I am not trying to impress you. You buy? Yeah, sure, I'll give you I'll give you five gold for it. It worked for me. Good. So your two-handed great axe is now in the possession of the blacksmith, and you are in possession of five gold pieces. Hooray. I also show him the hammer. I find this hammer on body of orc captain. Oh, the heavy one. Captain. The one that knocked me out. Yeah. And all oh, of a sudden yeah. you're... Okay. Um, <laughs> I can only assume that our empire is bordering Russia, right? It must be. You can see it from your back door, I'm sure. Exactly. Or Stotka, greatest country. <laughs> <laughs> Papers, please. Uh, so, I mean, as soon as he, as soon as he sees it, 
he's he's <coughs> obviously impressed with it. So this is this is actually quite lovely. Um, I would be willing to pay you handsomely for this. Are you interested in selling it? Make offer. For something this finely crafted, I I could give you I could give you twenty five gold pieces. I will ruminate on your offer, but for now I must go see Mayor. Yeah. All right, very cool. So but then I kick in his door. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> kick in his door, or kick out his door. Oh, kick yeah. out. Sorry, kick out. I'm trying to. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it costs twenty five gold pieces, so I'll be taking your hand. Mar- marking territory with boot footprints. Of uh, all right, I head back to the mayor's. I just wanted to get rid of that old great axe. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, you have the great axe from the. Uh, the slaver, mm-hmm. and then you have the two-handed mall. Which I am going to call SJW Great Axe. Sure. You're going to name it, okay. Social justice. You can name a weapon after it's drawn blood. And then I'm going to call the hammer Hammer Stein. <laughs> MC. <Yeah>. MC. <laughs> All right. So the three of you arrive at the uh, at the mayor's office slash abode. Has the front door been repaired? The front door has been repaired. Uh, okay. uh, the <laughs> work, the workmen made uh, made made quick work, work of the of the job the previous day, and uh, there is now a a freshly hewn door. Yep. Yep. Just. Uh, I like how you looked at me like I was about to correct you. I was waiting for some <laughs> bullshit to come from... seconds until he arrives. I was waiting for some bullshit to come from the Jesus side of the table. <laughs> uh, right, how old is that? Uh, standing, on the, standing at the exterior in his, uh, in his, usual, at his usual post is the guard. And, uh, and um, he sees you coming up and he's... Welcome back. Hopefully you had an uh, uneventful journey. Does not know us. <laughs> well, he definitely doesn't know you. Yeah, I'm, I don't talk to him. <laughs> Fair enough. I see that you've uh, shed yourselves of of a of a of a loud one that destroys doors, and it looks like you've added a new a new uh, a new person. The door uh, destroyer it is back in town. He'll be with us shortly. So uh... the door destroyer. <laughs> Well, uh, you might yeah. as well call me Dorm, the strong one. <laughs> you giggle, however, that is going to be now. We're going to go ahead and discontinue this stream in this game and kill it all with fire. Yeah. I think our uh, I think Hollis just fell asleep over there with Dorm. that. <laughs> okay. Is, uh, so, is the mayor's assistant in? Uh, the administrator is in and said that you were to be shown in as soon as you arrived. So oh. administrator. Assistant to the He's going to give you the password. Get on site. <laughs> so he opens the door and uh, says, uh, you, can, you can follow me in. And leads you immediately to the same room that you had met the administrator in previously mm-hmm. with the bookshelves. Um, Etc. Mm-hmm. Ah, welcome back, the administrator says as you enter the office. Mm-hmm. I, uh, what did you find? What did you encounter? What was the, what was the outcome? There was definitely a raiding party. Um, I unfortunately fell halfway through. Um, Rena, would you mind sharing the rest of the story? Uh, memory's a little foggy after I took and the And then comes flying through the window. But don't they killed us all. <laughs> He killed us all. No, he doesn't <laughs> roll or anything. He just like falls flat on his face. And oh up. yeah, not, not a smash through, maybe a body shaped hole in the door. But gotcha, no. gotcha. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Gore. But don't. that doesn't actually happen. It doesn't actually happen. happen. No more asides for me, I promise. <laughs> okay. The door is promised. Yeah, the happened. door is <laughs> Yeah, it happened. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> happened. No. Dorm. Uh, we just... managed to defeat two waves of the. Hostiles. And. Everybody spotted. And it was UAV online. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's real. 
So there were uh, there were definitely there were definitely orc raiders then. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like more than one, more than just the groups that we had <coughs> taken down. There were quite a few actually. Absolutely. Uh, so we took care of what we could when we were there, but we've decided to return after taking care of those groups. Fair enough. Fair enough. And you've. A new person here as well. What is uh, what is your role in in this? Is there some particular purpose that you have in returning or in coming to see me? Um, I'm just bandit with them. They helped me um, survive. I got downed when I tried to help them with the with the raiding group. So well, fair yeah. enough. Then. That's uh, that's that's wonderfully generous of you to uh, to aid and assist the, the <coughs> town of Duran. We're grateful. And it's reasonable to say that at this point Gorm would be joining the group. Does Gorm enter He does the not group? smash the door in, but rather enters normally. Like a human? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know. But he definitely comes in. Less barbaric. Much less more normal. Normal. The, administ- <laughs> the administrator is here. <laughs> Excellent. Do you have any news about the letter that I left with you? I've done some cursory examination of it, and it's quite interesting. Um, f- on the surface, the the scrap of paper itself is is not uh, doesn't really share a ton of information, but. <laughs> There appears to be writing on the back part of this of this uh, of this scrap of paper that some links were gone to to hide, and I haven't been able to fully decode this yet because it's it's actually not in a language but more of a cipher. Um, would it be presumptuous of me to request to hold on to it for a little longer? The on the language itself, mm-hmm. on the front side, um, were you were you able to read the the scrap itself? Um, initially, I believe she I was able to decipher it. But that's why I, I passed it over because she yeah. had a um, language comprehension. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well then, but uh, you didn't notice. I, I did not notice the anything on the back no. side. <clears throat> That's interesting. I'm not certain if it's... Well, if it would please you, then I would hold on to it for just another day. If it pleases. That's fine. But would you kindly? Well, thank you very much for that. The, uh, The gist of what I'm getting from this, though, is that there is some sort of... There is some sort of, um, existing civilization on this particular island and I mean we've seen no no uh, no sign of that we haven't encountered any uh, any cities or yes. I'm assuming that while you guys were having this conversation I walked up really really slowly because I didn't barge into the conversation up until this point roll for mm-hmm. stealth. <laughs> go ahead it's like hey there's a mountain behind you moving <laughs> and can I ask a, a quick, a quick question about my character's backstory? He was born outside the Empire, as per my character sheet. Mm-hmm. As I've given you all the fluff, he does know Orcish and he does know Giantish. He's learned it from being outside the Empire and being around Orcs and Giants. Sure. Is it not possible that he has some sort of idea that there is an organized civilization of orcs and giants outside of the Empire? Interesting, you should ask that. Mm. No. Okay. Mm. Then I will say this. Your... Go ahead. No? No, your, um... So, your... While born to uh, this... uh, This particular um, space... Would it be possible for me to use your tablet you momentarily, you just so the, I can uh, show? Access of the interwebs. Uh, so what I wish to do? I've got some on? mental gymnastics here. I want to run past you. Uh huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share something with you that I intended to have ready before now, but did not. 
on two. Yeah. So your knowledge of this particular land, you are effectively on the south island of the continent of Ru. Okay. And the south island is separated from the uh, is um, while well, your your origin, your point of origin, it's not um, not been widely uh, explored by the Empire of Chal. Mm-hmm. Um, your personal experience has been very limited in terms of where you have explored uh, this this particular island. Okay. Um, and I will show all of you. Here's the map. All right, Just I'm trying to make a mental map. map right now and try to. So this is very helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're trying to log into Teams. Because James is cooking. Yeah. Oh, you're not in. Log in. I'm not. But I do have something to say about this whole thing, regardless. Mm-hmm. Just wait until you're done Go doing ahead. whatever you're doing. Oh, by all means. Oh, I also. Oh yes. Uh, it seems that your uh, kingdom is coming into contact with the nation of another race. When we fought off the orc and ogrish invaders, they mentioned that they want their land back. Are you in border skirmishes right now with something that you do not know? Well, the extent of the skirmishes have been the uh, the interaction with the, the slavers, to be honest. Uh, there have been no there has been no outreach, no, uh, no diplomacy in any way, shape, or form. I am not surprised. However, it's not wise to bargain on orcs of the wild to engage in such diplomatic affairs. But they are not keen on their lands being intruded upon, and they will not. They will surely not be the first of the raiding parties that come. They will only grow larger and stronger as time goes on. Well, this is actually quite accurate, and um, we should have anticipated this. Um, we should have anticipated that before an ogre hit me with a tree. An ogre, you say? Yes. It was not just orcs that came across. Um, it was not just orcs that came ashore. It were a great number of them, and also they have enlisted the help of giants such as ogres. Giants? You you fought? You encountered or fought giants? Ogres are giants. You would know this if you oh. studied phrenology. It's the right bumps. What barbarian? The right bumps. Oh. Runs around with burns like that. <laughs> phrenology. Man, that's well. absolutely not correct. That, by the that way, is, phrenology. That is great. Though. That man burning. This is yeah. like, yeah, I'm gonna roast him. Barbarian okay. style. I'm having go. a lot of difficulty separating Rose my characters right now. I just, in teams. I just actually shared that with you guys yeah, so that you can. Yeah, I got teams. Um, okay. So where are we currently on? I got to log in every time. So on perspective. You can actually. Okay. You guys are in Duran, which Durand, is right, yeah, here, right, right here in the south. Of course, this is this okay. is horribly uh, not, not good for what's that? No, I was no, I was, was fighting us. So yeah. Gorm's actual point of origin. You see the that landmass right there. Yeah. And the round or the red. Yeah, uh, area around it. That is under near effectively yeah. where your. Okay, so in this territory, right? Yeah, that's that. where you would have been. Wait, wait. Okay. On the okay. right, bottom right. Uh, where your where your clan would have been. Durham. Okay. Or tribe. The big spire Whichever. speaks. So this tribe are societal outcasts. They're they're a barbarian. What name? You're barbarian. There's no yes. name by it. Exactly. Nope. Which is landmass. Not a named location. Ladies. Which one? Where are you saying he was from? Dorm's you, location. You see, you, do you yeah, see so Vin? Dorm, the door slayer. Yes. Okay, do you see the uh, yeah, they hear him south of it? There's that doomed. single, like, uh, mountain it's right in the middle. Yep. That large, well, the red area around that is where Gorm's uh, barbarian clan would you have You know, if been. he does die, I will play a giant, so. Mm-hmm. 
And he's gonna come in and be like, yeah, so uh, my house said. My house Oh, sorry, let me kick in the door even harder this time. But don't. So, <laughs> with that as a point of reference. Yes, um, that makes sense now. Okay. The farthest east that you have ever explored is the city of Duran, or the village of Duran, where you currently are. Okay. So there is this entire landmass. Yeah. Uh, which, <laughs> yeah. for the sake of... For the sake of it, uh, this map exists as this, as it's currently drawn mm-hmm. in the administrator's office. Okay. Uh, it's yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's on the desk, so you can you can see it, and you have a feeling. Those of you that came from the uh, from the empire itself, mm-hmm. uh, you well, you know for a fact that there is no detail. Or no substantial detail to the map beyond the forest because the only place that this has been seen from has been the coastline. Okay. And good. So I'll just say that aside from meeting or talking to Orcish or anybody who speaks giantish, the way that he learned it was from books and from or not from books, but like from what his family already had. Sure in wherever their place was burnt down at Mm -hmm. and uh, from any passing traders that he was able to interact with. Absolutely. Um, But at this point he will mention to the administrator that he does in fact speak giantish and orcish which is why he was able to glean this information. Okay. That's quite interesting and unfortunate at once. Um... So far, the only thing that I've been able to decipher from the... Oh, we're just going to not mention the, uh, the other thing that happened. Nope. Yeah. The, the code the is... The blood stuff. Oh, none of that. Yeah, that... We'll so just no mention, that. No we'll mention whatsoever? we we'll like, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jason going to come in with my hair? No, we ain't going to talk about it. Yeah, it's not know. important. If there's a dark <laughs> Swinford roaming the street, don't move. I didn't hear nothing. Well, there's more like a dank Swinford. Oh, dank Swinford. So <laughs> I will have to say that his name is Swindle. <laughs> unfortunate as it is, like um, the only thing that I've been able to decipher thus far from the from this code is some mention of a sundered kingdom and or sundered empire. It's it's really hard to to understand, but with with that particular bit of information in mind. It could potentially make sense because um, on the northern island of Rue, mm-hmm. as Swinford and Rena and Rin would be aware, yeah. on the uh, on the southern tip there is actually a large orcish outpost called Cole Griggs that resides in the mountains. Sick. The administrator is telling us this, correct? No, or are you just they they are aware of this. You're, you, you are, are OOC right now. I am OOC. <laughs> so there's. That's the, in the south of as the, the three of you would know, this <laughs> I, exists. I transcribed this. Yeah. In okay, so we'll, we're not doing dialogue then. Would Rina be able to use comprehend languages on the symbols? So because it's not like a language. It's not a language, and that's where the issue arises. Mm. It's, a, it's a cipher. It's a cipher. If I hit it with a, an axe, will it reveal its yeah. secrets to us? I think you can try a, that. Yeah, I think we should. You try got it. two halves, and I'm gonna roll over the other. I'm gonna roll for advantage with him. I'm gonna help. Him. <laughs> I'm to gonna help it. him hit it with I an need axe. To see what this gonna work? <laughs> because the bard helping the barbarian hit it with an axe is gonna help. That's gonna help. All the barbarian. Just say dirty things to it. Your mama. Go, 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 go. Vicious mockery. Look, I'm gonna sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, so that is what you've gathered here. You have seen mm-hmm. the uh, the map and Hollis. I shared that in Teams. I don't know if there's mm-hmm. anything you can do with it. Mm-hmm. I know that's short notice, um, and I ill prepared you for that. My fault. Uh, so that exists, and I uh, with that. I think each of you were promised something. At least a million dollars. Something, something was promised. I don't remember what. Um, I don't think there was a what. To Rena, you've pretty much received the beginnings of it. Mm-hmm. Um, information regarding what was on the scrap of paper. Mm-hmm. 
to Swinford, uh, you had requested uh, the opportunity to peruse the library as it exists, and you have been granted the opportunity at this point. Well, you may take two books from the uh, from the from the shelves, and you may peruse those as you wish. Uh, my only request is that they be returned within the next three days because I'm expecting the mayor back in four and she would be none too pleased if her precious belongings were not where they belong. You said three days? Three days? You will have three days to read through them. Gorm the Strong One. Yo. I said I want free shit from the blacksmith. You did say you wanted free shit from a blacksmith. Yes. And with that, <laughs> the administrator pulls out a writ, which he promptly signs. A writ of Sergio Rari. God damn it. Appreciate it. You know, I feel kind of bad saying this, but I'm sort of over Jesus right now. <laughs> oh, come wow, on. Wow, that's crazy. I'm a fun guy. It's just like a mushroom. <laughs> Kind of With there. that, yes. the administrator hands you a writ and quickly signs it and says, take this to the blacksmith, and with it, uh, I will personally cover um, 50 gold towards any purchase that you wish to make. Oh, excellent. I love coupons. I was just about to say, does writ translate into <laughs> giant say coupon? Giant coupon. coupon. <laughs> Let the bar- barbarian say coupon out loud. <laughs> Like Cooper. 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 So what I get? No, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> Actually, I want to change my weapon. So I'm going to be like, hey, can I get those two swords? Meta gaming completely. I just want two swords. Get two what swords, two swords. swords? There's two swords randomly in the room. I spawn it with my insulin. There are no swords in the room. Damn it. I just want two swords. So there are swords on the guard outside. Let me get them both. He has a nice sword. <laughs> how he got one sword, I want both of them. Uh, if you'll recall, he actually had a single saber, which he... That we saw. Yeah. Uh, didn't he hit me with two? Swinford's hit a you with stupid one. sorcerer. Uh, I have two <laughs> daggers. He hit you with a single but sword twice. Gotcha, gotcha. Dang, he finessed his wrist. Yeah. In, two, in two levels, I will be able to swing twice. That's What's a level? Oh, I, this is out of character. You were like, what is the circle button? <laughs> Wait, you were, like, you were <laughs> using the voice, though. No, I wasn't. Oh, was you were. talking. <laughs> just me talking. I must have a in long rest. rest. Okay. Wow. <laughs> my attribute in points. Two my soul circle points. points yeah. Yeah. In two. I'm looking to upgrade like, my, my attribute points. Are <laughs> it's so much fuckery on one stream. <laughs> Wait, can I get an antimatter rifle from the blacksmith? <laughs> no, the Whoa, best is right I would here. like to use my DM's inspiration. Right. <laughs> blacksmith, I request your finest antimatter rifle. You'd be like, well, <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, give me two swords. <laughs> Someone left this during the last campaign. You, you actually. I just want two swords. You're you're <coughs> engaging the administrator. Well, this is uh, this is an interesting request. Unfortunately, I've. I've never met you before. I, oh, well. I, <laughs> I had struck a struck an accord with with the other three. We wouldn't have survived without his help, to be honest. Because truly, truly, oh, truly, truly. I'm finna sing a song. I tell you what, make no, <laughs> make a persuasion check, oh, really? and yeah, you can actually that. roll this at advantage because Swinford has spoken. Well, he, he's a knowledge guy. Like you said a witch one check. Uh, I think I got some uh, uh, persuasion. persuasion. Plus four on that, so we just going. But that's just wow! That's I hate a, this game. You can roll again. Roll again because you have advantage. Because I'm talking nice. Look at you talking good. Thirteen plus four. Ah, uh, worth it. That's 17. it. Totally worth it. Yeah. Always. Sweet Fair times. enough. What is your desire? I just want two, two swords. swords. <laughs> two short swords. Okay. So he rips out another uh, right here, another right. piece of parchment, scrawls a couple things on it, hands it to you, okay. and you can read. That it entitles you to a pair of short swords nice. from the blacksmith. Lit. I had to change my weapon. I was just copy paste. Oh, you're you're right here. I was here. just tired. I was like, I'm gonna just keep doing it. So at this point, instead of the rapier, you will have the option. Well, once you go to the blacksmith, once I go to the blacksmith, we go in together. Since he over here trying to get an antimatter weapon, <laughs> <laughs> he like he may already have one. He just don't know. I mean, I got these couple of rings, man. One of them must be the Ring of Set. And then walked in and said, I would like the Tesseract. <laughs> what is going on here? 
Like, yeah, just little village. <laughs> what in the yeah. Marvel comics is going on? <laughs> Yo, did you know that Conan is a part of the Avengers? That's actually kind of lit. Though. Yeah, because he has Atlantean blood. Well, that's crazy. That's actually cool. he's just, he's fighting Namor in the comics right now. You beat him up. <laughs> so, is there any other information that you have that you wish to share with me prior to going on your way? And you now you've you've told me that you intercepted the orcs. You fought an ogre. And I must <laughs> let you know that the orcs <laughs> and the ogres are very well provisioned. In fact, I took this mace from the orc captain, fully stocked in iron armor and fine weapons to boot. They speak about taking back their land. I would suggest you be very careful if you wish to engage them in combat. Or even with our great expertise, it was a hard-fought battle. What's it? Yeah. <laughs> so if it in the back, just, just posing. I have to tell like, you, with our great even for one such as myself who doesn't know anything about weaponry, and he eyes the the mall. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is a brilliant looking weapon. Mm. You can see the Spencers right there. I would <laughs> offer a trade. I will take back the the writ in exchange for a scroll that I might have that could potentially tell you bah, what that keep thing your is. scrolls. As you wish. <laughs> I, I put my trust in steel. Mm. As you wish. There you go. Mm. With that, I will take my leave. Should you need my assistance again with any combat or battle, let me know and I will round up my companions. I am certain that we shall require your assistance in the immediate future. Because if what you say is true that you...